everybody, it's Marissa and welcome to another Lockdown Yoga. Today I want to tell you a story about what happened to me when I went for a walk one day. I went for a walk in the woods and I heard a crying sound. <laughs> I didn't know where it was coming from. I looked to the left. <laughs> there was nobody there. I looked to the right. Nobody was there, but the crying sound was still going on. I looked up. <laughs> oh no, the crying continued, but I couldn't see anything. And then I looked down and I saw a snake. A snake who was crying. <laughs> What's wrong, snake? I said. Nobody wants to be my friend, <laughs> said the snake. Everyone's scared of me. Oh no, I said. That doesn't sound very nice. Why don't you come with me? Let's see if we can find you a friend. So we started walking together and we came across a cat. Meow, meow. Hello, cat. I said, I'd like you to meet my friend, the snake. Said the snake. Meow, said the cat and arched its back really, really, really high and it ran away. And the snake started crying even louder. <laughs> See, nobody wants to be my friend. We'll find somebody, I said. And we kept walking and we found a dog. And the dog reached its tail out and stretched. And then it reached its tail out again and it wagged its tail. And I said, hello dog. And the dog said, woof, woof, woof. I said, would you like to meet my friend, the snake? And the dog said, snake, ah! And it started to run away. And the snake cried even louder. Wah! Nobody wants to be my friend. I will not give up, I said. Let's keep looking. So we looked and we looked and we saw an eagle sitting on a tree. Can you cross your legs like this? Cross your arms. And the snake said, Eagle, no, it's going to eat me. And the snake slithered away. Oh my goodness. I looked at the eagle. Let's do it again. Cross your leg on the other side. And I said, Sorry. Sorry to bother you. And we kept walking. And then we came across a frog. And I said, hey, frog. And the frog said, Rabbit. I'd like you to meet my friend, the snake. And the frog, what do you think? The frog was scared and he said, no, not a snake. And he hopped away. And the snake kept crying. <laughs> but I was determined and I kept looking and I saw a chicken. And the chicken was walking along the road. And I said, hey chicken, do you want to meet my friend the snake? And the chicken kept walking. I guess the chicken didn't speak English. And the snake was really desperate and was just like, leave me. No, I'm never going to find a friend. I'm going to be all by myself. Wah! And then I got an idea. And I walked over to a tree. And you can keep your foot down, or if you're really strong, you can bring your foot up. And the tree it was waving its leaves in the wind. And I looked at the tree, and the snake said, What are you doing? A tree can't be my friend. It can't talk. And the tree switched to the other side. Let's do tree pose on the other side. And I said, I'm not looking for the tree. I'm looking at the tree. I'm looking for something that lives in the tree. And the snake said, what 
what are you looking for? And I don't want to be friends with a bird, it will eat me. No, not a bird, I said. A monkey, said the snake. No, not a monkey. And then I looked and I said, look, right there, do you see it? And it was a spider. Here we go, we're gonna get down and bring one hand under your leg and another hand under your other leg, like a spider. And I said, hey, spider, do you wanna be friends with the snake? And the spider thought and said, oh, you know what? Lots of things are afraid of me. I'm not sure that a snake would want to be my friend. And the snake said, Lots of things are afraid of me. I'm not sure a spider would want to be my friend. And I said, Well, if a spider has lots of things that are afraid of it, and a snake has lots of things that are afraid of it, maybe you can both be friends. And they said, Yes, that sounds great. Thanks, Marissa. And the spider, let's do our spider, walked over to the snake. And the snake slithered over to the spider. And they said, nice to meet you. And they went off and had a lot of fun together. I hope you like that story. It reminds me of a song. Maybe you know this song. Do you know the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Let's yogify it. Here we go. We're gonna get into our spider pose. Hands underneath your knees. If this is too hard, you can keep your hands in the middle like frog pose, ready? And then the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.